Stan Gibalisco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV Whiskey One. Good vibrations with another far end grounded antenna. This one uh, I will call a uh, end grounded. inverted V because that's exactly what it is it's just like an ordinary inverted V fed with open wire such as ladder line to your shack your basic true balanced feed line transmatch and your radio the whole uh, ball game here there's you sitting at your chair and your table and your radio and your transmatch and all of that. And you have uh, your radio, of course, grounded, but it uh, it's grounded just simply for electrical safety reasons. These grounds at the ends of the antenna are intended for DC grounding of the far ends of this half wave inverted V antenna. Each side of the inverted inverted V is a quarter of a wavelength. Now you're going to see a very low impedance at these points, purely resistive, and a very high impedance at the center. With your open wire line, the high SWR should present no problem. Your center support can be a tower, uh, a creosoted telephone pole, which I'm sure your neighbors would love. It can even be a tree, anything, but it should be as high as possible. This uh, antenna is meant primarily for the lower bands, such as 3.5 megahertz, 1.8 megahertz, maybe 7 megahertz, Oh, and don't forget uh, 5 megahertz if you'd like to operate that band. The higher bands, it's uh, too small. Uh, you can do it, but the idea is to simply reverse all of the impedances that you would normally find in a conventional inverted V with free ends. And of course, the outstanding advantage of this antenna over an ordinary inverted V is these DC grounds right here. Ah, uh, ground. Yeah, right. DC grounds. keeps the antenna from developing electrostatic charges, directs any electrostatic discharge in the vicinity of a thunderstorm away from your feed line, away from your station, and towards the ends of the antenna. So that, uh, of course, you would disconnect this ladder line when you're not using the antenna and just let it dangle or or something but you don't want it to be connected to your radio when there's a thunderstorm or anything like that you know better than to operate it during a thunderstorm don't you or even when a thunderstorm is within 15 miles a superbolt can still make its way to your location and i i know because i've seen it happen i've seen it happen right here in the black holes of dakota territory united states of anomalies anomalous weather <laughs> which is really what we've been having for the last few days it's been in the 50s and 60s and it's all, almost December no snow on the ground that's the first time in 14 years I've ever seen that this late here in the black holes but whether you're in the black holes or not 
if you have a relatively well even if you don't have a, a flat location you know the drill with your post hole diggers and your salt and your radials and don't put plants near these grounds and everything like that and uh, it's it's kind of like an in electrically inverted inverted V I'm not exactly certain what the radiation pattern of an antenna like this would be uh, it wouldn't be the same quite the same as an ordinary inverted V but it's just something worth thinking about because mainly because of the safety issues uh, if uh, lightning strikes nearby the electrostatic discharge will take place at the ends of the antenna and not at your station uh, particularly if you have the feed line disconnected have you ever operated during a severe thunderstorm when I was a one field day when I was a teenager, I was stupid enough to operate during a heavy thunderstorm in the middle of the night, and sparks were flying from the back of my trans mansion. Finally, we decided to give up. We were afraid we were maybe taking a little bit too much of a risk. Ha ha! I mean, you know, like it, it was like swimming with sharks, right? I did that too when I was younger. Well, I, I was a lot stupider when I was younger. I'm still pretty stupid, but not that stupid. Uh, it, but this is just another antenna idea for you to have dreams about. The, uh, again, the idea of grounding the antenna, keeping the antenna wire always at DC ground. And even though it's at DC ground at every point, it will still radiate RF it'll still radiate RF and uh, ought to work pretty good try it and see I'm too lazy too old and too sick but you probably aren't so go ahead make my day no that's that's stealing a phrase isn't it or is it make my night on 80 or 40 or 160 or 60 meters those bands and always of course do it on CW so at the end of a QSO you can say da da did it did 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 da da and sign off with so long translating as always to did 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 da did da